Hi, baby. Hey, everybody. We're on a mission today. You know how you're always looking for the perfect purse? Well, I'm always looking for the purse in the camera bag. And I can never find it. It doesn't have the right compartments. It's not the right size. So, uh, excuse me. What are, you, what are you doing? Um, a commercial? For what? For, we're doing a camera bag search today. Yeah, but this is my channel. You're just recording this without me, though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You thought well, no I, one would notice? I figured nobody would notice, yeah. Well, well you well, are my twin, kind of. Yeah, seriously. Right? <laughs> but she is right. Today we are on a mission to find a good camera bag. And if you're a photographer like me, you know it's pretty much impossible. We're gonna try it anyway. This is my old camera bag. It's covered in dust. I tried to sell it, nobody wanted it. If you're in Colorado, come and get it. It opens on the side here. Like where? So you have this oh whole my. ridiculous- Oh, what? And it's not- Now what I did like, okay, what I did like was the big compartment up here, but yeah, it just, the, the way it opened was terrible. So that okay. was out of here. See ya. Yeah. This is technically Steve's new camera bag. That's a personal Steve. I really like it. <laughs> and it's I beautiful. took this on my trip to Savannah uh, recently, but you have to get all these attachments for it, which I didn't have. So there's no place for a water bottle. There's uh -huh. no place, uh, like the whole thing's open. So this one you open from the back and it's all oh. one big giant mm. compartment. So like if I want to put snacks or something up here, they could potentially fall into the rest. That's how mine is. My camera bag is just like this and these have Velcro, right? Yeah. Yep. I don't like that either. So that was okay, but there's really no like little storage spots. Okay. So it was comfy and everything, but no. Yeah, oh, Bailey, you won't let me? Here you go. And this is my current camera bag. And this was like, oh my gosh, I need a camera bag because my last one broke and that one's cheap. I hate it so much. You know that. <laughs> You already know that, and the zipper has finally broken. But you do, you set it down like this, that's okay. It's really thin fabric, I hate that. It does have these pockets and side pockets. Awesome. That's nice, yeah. I do like that. They're pretty small, you but know? still. But they're okay. Little spots for everything. I have everything assigned to their pockets. But again, like really floppy, really floppy. <laughs> so you're gonna get like a hard case, like your travel suitcase? This kind? one's like, this one's a lot stronger than mm -hmm. this one. And I'm out of room. Oh, seriously out of room. We're on a mission. And you know what the name of this game is? I win. And we're gonna find a bag today. I can feel it. It's because the Crocs. It's the power of the Crocs. The power of the Crocs. So I don't wanna do overnights with the bag. That's nothing I need. I want some little pockets and I want it secure. I don't even know what else. This isn't a huge camera store, but they have a good selection of bags. I'm not even sure really what my budget is. Let's not talk about budget. Yeah, let's not talk about let's budget. Let's not talk about that. See, problem solved. Why am I relying on a $200 camera bag to secure $10,000 worth of camera equipment? Seriously. Right? Uh, there is a camera store about an hour from here, and we're gonna, we're gonna go down there anyway just to visit while she's here. Come, Come with, with us. us. Come with us. Come with us. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, cool. And here we channel the power of the Crocs through a little special jig. Will it be enough though? I have pretty high standards. Here's hoping. We put the power of the Crocs to the ultimate test. We sat on the floor of Mike's camera for an hour and a half. Work it, work it, add 20 pounds of gear to that. You're strolling through the woods, you're chasing after a dog. And tried out all these different bags. I had brought my full bag of gear. We loaded it into every style and type of bag. And Quick, do a Shatner. <laughs> Let's roll. And nothing, nothing was satisfying. There was always something that I didn't like about it. But we tried so, so hard. And so we went out and had tea and did some other things. And this video has sat on my hard drive for several months. So what I have done is searched and searched and searched and asked friends and in forums and watch YouTube videos ah, ad nauseum. And I ended up having to compromise, I guess, and just buy one online. What I'm hoping is it's not too big to go on the plane. That's kind of my big concern because I fly next week. Okay. Lemmy! I've looked at so many bags, I forgot which one this was. 
It is a Tenba Rhodey HDSLR video backpack, 22 inch. I think there was, I think there was a smaller one. Here's why I got this bag. It has pockets in the front. Check them out. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Here. So it has a very accessible pocket in the front with all kinds of things, dividers, but there's a bunch of side pockets. Forget this stuff. Oh, that was the rain cover. Uh, I wanted a side pocket for my water bottle. Oh, this is, look at my arms all the way in there. <laughs> this is a tripod slot. There's a picture of a tripod in here. Put stuff in there. Maybe my monopod would fit. I don't know. Other side is, oh, it's exactly the same on the other side. Okay. Oh, that's not for you. Sorry, Bay. Oh, nice. An extra little case. Look at that. Let's throw some SD cards in there. Another tripod. So this is made for video shooters. That's why it has all these strange, kind of strange pockets. Okay, here's one of those loops here. You can actually loop a little something there. And here's the cool thing I really liked about this in the videos and photos that I saw. That's loud, sorry, excuse me, pardon me. Is this part. You see that? Ooh. Yes. So for video shooters, this was marketed to be where to put your audio gear, but I love this top pocket for everything else that you need. Tiny little tools to take plates on and off of your camera. Uh, this could be for lens cleaning cloths, for your snack and your keys and everything else. I really, really love the idea of this. And most bags, it's just this big thing here and that's it. And I love this big handle right here. So that's great. Oh, the other thing is it's got, it's a backpack style. Um, and the belt comes off. And I almost always take the belt off. So that's a huge bonus for me. This has actually nice little pockets here. So I might wear it when I'm out and about on the Cattail Chronicles channel, uh, but typically this is just gonna get all gross um, on my dog sessions. So, and it also has a loop here. I believe this is to put it over your rolly bag at the airport. And the big reel, ah, dang. Okay, oh, this is great. These are so deep. This is what we got going on. These are awesome. Like you can put business cards in here, but they're not really great for anything else. Maybe batteries, little flat ones. Here they are side by side. So you can see this one's a good, what, four inches taller. So I think it's gonna work out. Yeah, this might be the bag I've been looking for. What? This is gonna take some work. Inside is packed. What? A703 with a 7200 millimeter lens on. The little flash, the flash controller, lens, lens. It's exciting, right, Bay? The GoPro on a stick. Look at that, GoPro. My Rode Wireless Go, Go to microphones. A couple extra things in here, and this is where this camera will go, the Sony ZV-1, and then the microphone will pop in here with it as well. That's exactly what I needed. Oh boy, now to find homes <laughs> for all this important stuff. Are we organized now, Bay? We are organized. This is what we're gonna put in there. SD cards, batteries, batteries, tools, cards, paper, band-aids, lens cleaning cloths, and of course my fun pins and all the squeakies. Okay, as I was packing up this part, nice and neat like, I wanted to put some of my buttons on and completely missed this compartment. We have da, 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 laptop storage. We could put a laptop in here. Forgot all about that. What? And so far I have nothing up here. So this is gonna be the accessories maybe for the video cameras, batteries and stuff. All loaded up, let's put it on. The straps are probably tightened all the way down, I'm assuming. 
super padded. Whoa. I know you're gonna carry some weight in here. That handle at the top is nice and soft and grippy. Grippy's a word. There's even shoulder adjustment. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna adjust this. I'm actually gonna take it to a photo session tonight. You've already seen the video, probably. If you haven't, check it out. It is photographing the Havoc team, Human Animal Bond in Colorado therapy dog staff at CSU where their office is in the Oval and at the admin building. So uh, I am going to <laughs> go photograph that tonight and you likely have already seen the video of me doing that. Very strange, right? I am more excited about this than I thought I'd be. It looks, it's pretty sturdy. It was a great price point. I think it was $250, which is incredible. I think a lot of bags I looked at were double that, but I was willing to pay more, but they did not have the configuration. So here we go. Here's my little buttons. Okay, let's sit down and I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on this camera bag that I've been using for the last several weeks. I've used it at client sessions, I've taken it on a plane, I've taken it to the rescues, I've taken it on my walks for my second channel, the Cattail Chronicles. You may have seen <laughs> some glimpses of this camera throughout the last few weeks in some other videos. Let's start with the things I don't like or that didn't quite work out, I guess. A couple of compromises were, it was really too big to fit under the seat in front of me on the plane. And so what I ended up doing is having a different carry-on. This went up above me in the plane and I checked my clothes. <laughs> and so that was a little bit of a bummer, but I only fly, you know, a few times a year. And usually it's for, to see family. So I'm not doing a big production, but I was able to bring everything I needed camera wise in here, except for like my stand I had to put in my suitcase. Bailey, what else did I not like about this bag? I think the only thing that I compromised on was the little bit of a bigger size. Uh, one of the things I do like is that the waist belt is removable or the hip belt, whatever you want to call it. Now we will be going on a road trip through Colorado down to Santa Fe in a couple of weeks. And there's gonna be a little few hikes in there, I believe. So I'll be taking this with me. It's a car trip, so I have plenty of room. Uh, we're gonna film a bunch of videos for the Cattail Chronicles channel. Um, so I'll get a chance to use this quite a bit. Uh, another thing I really like is this top part, but honestly, I didn't use it very much. My problem was I found myself just kind of lazily closing it. And if you do that, things could fall out the side. <laughs> I was thinking this would be a really great place to put bandanas and bow ties and flowers for the rescue animals. They can just plop right in here. You can see I've got my water bottle. There's plenty of big enough pocket here. And then this pocket, I didn't think I would need because I'm not a big fan of tripods. I'm able to put the new stand that I have that you're on right now. So I've got this kind of tripod slash light stand, really lightweight, really small, that I could slide right in here, one leg. And then it has, it comes with these little tripod straps. So I can strap it right on here. So I'm really surprised I've actually used that pocket here there's some zipper pockets and I just put my case for my SD cards. Hello. <laughs> my SD card case slides right in here. Um, I'm going to put some batteries over here and one extra squeakies in here. Uh, the other thing is that these pockets are very white. So everything just kind of like disappears. So I'm experimenting with putting just a, piece of colored paper behind it so I can see what's in here a little bit better. So we'll see if that works. I'm just now trying that. So I know this video is getting really long, but I want to tell you overall, I'm actually shockingly happy with this bag. The couple of compromises I've had to make, I've worked around, it's been no issue. It's been great for my everyday carry for my camera, my three lenses, my speed light and the controller for that, the Sony ZV-1, the GoPro and microphones. And if I needed to bring my field mic, I can put that on here. And even the stand for the little video camera fits in here and my water bottle. Hello. I am pretty happy with this. And honestly, I've been looking for years and years and years for a camera bag and to just make those two compromises. I'm, I'm super happy. Obviously this is, this is set up for me. 
you might have a little different setup. I think there's a slightly smaller version of this bag. I'll link them both in the description just so you can go take a look at it. Uh, it's been very comfy, very sturdy. I love the extra depth. I love all the little pockets. I don't usually do product reviews, but this has been bothering me for years and years, and I think I found a solution. <sighs> so you're welcome. There you go. Thank you to everyone who gave me suggestions on bags. Um, I hope this suggestion works for you. That's it. Check out the Temba, oh, what's it called? Check out the Temba Rody HDSLR slash video backpack 22 inch. That's what this is called. Happy bag hunting to you. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> unbelievably, my camera bag search is over. Hey, you wanna say goodbye? As always, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S-S. Treats. <gasps> Should we get you a treat? Yeah. It was 18 months fashionably laid out for me. So we are twins, technically. <gasps> oh my God, that's a long way down. It sure is. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Brand new, can you smell it?